liability report so we can determine how much to be paying. Taxable, uh, taxable customer report will give give the, the you know the tax the revenue possibly for the the customers that are taxable. And then the non-taxable transaction review might help you to determine the the revenues that are non-taxable. And this might be information necessary to fill out the uh, the tax forms because what will happen typically with with most of the tax situations is you're going to want to pay as you go so you pay the sales tax and then you have to have a summary form similar to the income tax in which case we basically pay during the year and then we file a form 1040. the difference with the income tax is that you can't get it perfect because the tax is too complex therefore we shoot for an overpayment and then we try to get a small refund when we file the forms whereas with payroll tax and sales tax we should be able to get it exact because we're just paying what we collected and then we might have a review uh, tax form that we have to provide depending on the state and locale that summarizes how we calculated the taxes so let's say we do a tax liability uh, report here and if if i go from uh, 010124 to 01324 we can run this report and now we have the taxes uh, by the locale and this is this is going to be the uh, the two taxes for Alabama and Colorado 1875 and 468 that should be what's on the balance sheet over here 1875 and 468 for the end of January not including February because February we're not going to be paying uh, until uh, March all right so that's the idea so then we can run we can basically just write a check for it so I'm going to just write a check and so let's do this and I'm going to make it a generic check even though I have the two locales here uh, I'm just going to make it a, a generic check so let's go up top and say we're going to say we're going to do a check form you can also do an expense form check form here but in practice you would use like the widget and i'm going to say it's going to be the the city let's say city of california i'm just going to make a generic one uh, for our vendor so we're paying the city for this one i'm going to say save and i'm trying to do this so it matches also our bank reconciliation reports that we will do in a future course or section so 022823 or 24, I'm going to do it at the end of February. Check number is correct. So I'm going to keep that check number. And then in the category down below, I'm going to put this into the, uh, you know, I'm going to make a new account just so we can see, just so we can see it. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add an account and I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to say this is going to be, uh an other current liability and i'm going to say it's going to be payroll sales tax sales tax payable adjustment i'll just show it like that and then i could make it a subcat no i won't make it a subcategory and so let's save that and then i'm going to make the payment in two amounts one being 1875.09 why because I don't think that's the amount that it was charged here, was it? And the sales tax and the two, let me just check it out. One, okay, yeah, that ties out to 187508. So I'm gonna imagine that we're paying the Alabama department first, and then we have to pay separately the Colorado. But I'm gonna imagine in our problem, they were California taxes for the state and then the locality. And, and I'll, so that's gonna be the, the general idea. So let's go back on over and maybe I can make this. Well, that's good. So let's do a save and new on that one. This is going to decrease the checking account. The other side going into that sales tax payable. And let's do the other one. Save and new. Now, the other one I'm going to imagine goes to the state of uh, Cal California. I, I tried to do one state and one local. What happened here? So maybe I should, this should be local, local sales tax. I'm kind of, this is getting a little messy, but I'm going to say state and local. So I'm going to say it's going, checking account 228. The check number is good. And then down here, once again, I'm going to put this as my sales 
tax payable adjustment account. And this one is going to be for the 468.77, which would the idea here being it's going to the other department, imagining that we had to pay two departments that we broke out and charged as one sales tax line on the invoices and sales receipts, but they're actually for two different departments, possibly at a state, local, and a local level that we have to actually pay out. That's why we have these two lines here. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna save and close that. And this should decrease the checking account, other side going into the sales tax. I'm gonna close that. And then I go into the balance sheet and let's check it out. So if I run this, we can see down here in the sales tax that, so, so now we have, so it put the sales tax down here. Uh, and, and so it's a little bit out of sync with where the other sales tax is. Let me do some sub accounts and see if we can clean this up a bit. I'll make a parent account called sales tax, and then I'll put these underneath it. So it'll look a little cleaner. Let's go to the first tab. Let's clean this up a bit. We're going to go into the, uh, into the transactions and chart of accounts. Let's make a new account and just call it uh, a liability account. I'm going to say it's going to be uh, a liability, other current liability, and then it's going to be sales tax payable. And I'm just going to call this sales tax payable. And then boom, that's the parent account. And then I'll find the other accounts that are sales tax and put them under the new parent account. So I'm looking for the other current library.